Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you a nice effect for your cinematics. Um, so basically it's um, in the cinematic it zooms in and zooms out and while it's zooming there's um, yeah, a blur that looks yeah, like actually the if the camera is focusing something and then it looks more realistic. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do but some people were asking for that so yeah, here's the tutorial. Um, I think I will put the uh, this cinematic in the description so, so that you guys can download it and yeah let me just add some color correction so that this looks better um, no that's shit yeah let's use this one that's okay so um, yeah I didn't add any wiggle to this so yeah, let's see what this looks like. And I also um, scaled this cinematic uh, up because uh, this is straight from the PVR and there were these um, like buttons, you know. So yeah, um, so the first thing you're going to do is search the first spot where you want your camera to zoom in. Let's go for this one. Then go click on your cinematic, click S, click on uh, this stopwatch on scale and maybe you can adjust the position I will show you how to do that but I don't really like that so press P for position and keyframe that too so then um, go forward a few frames maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and yeah 10 frames or something then uh, drag up the scale maybe drag the cinematic a bit to uh, another spot so then go to the um, start of where you started zooming in, go to your effects and presets, go to and go to Gaussian Blur, drag that on your clip, um, keyframe that where the zooming starts, go forward 5 frames or something and change the blurriness to mm, let's say 7 or 6 is fine and then go to the end of the zooming maybe a bit further and change it to zero then go forward a few frames maybe another 10 or 15 frames um, make a keyframe for the scale press P make a keyframe for the position uh, press E for effects open the Gaussian blur and make another keyframe for the uh, blur so then go forward ten, uh, 10 frames again go to the scale and scale it back go to the <coughs> position oh, you don't have to go to the position you can just move it maybe to here and now go to um, E for effects go to your Gaussian blur and um, wait, what do they want to do now? Yeah, go to the frame where it starts zooming out, make another keyframe, go forward five frames. Maybe you can do the blur before it's zooming out. You can do whatever you want to. Go to the spot where it stops zooming out and change it back to zero then maybe you can um, go forward a few frames again and bring it back to maybe three or something um, and then go forward maybe 20 frames and change it to zero then it looks more realistic let me repeat this hold on it's a bit slow because of the color correction um, but you guys can um, uh, also check out my other tutorials I made for cinematics maybe uh, the one how to add wiggle to your uh, cinematic then this looks even more realistic and maybe the one for the particles um, basically I think I will uh, pause the video now and add the stuff from these tutorials so that you guys can see what that does and yeah then you can see the final result 
Okay guys, I'm back and yeah, now I will show you the final results. I just added some um, particles and camera wiggles to the cinematic and yeah, this is what the final thing looks like. And that's quite nice I think and yeah. Please like the video and watch the other cinematics tutorials I made. I will uh, put the put links in the in the description and I will also put annotations on this video. So yeah, please like and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.